Good morning. Welcome to today's webinar on Social Security Claiming. Thank you all for joining us here today. Uh, as many of you know, because you have been to this webinar more than once, this is a very popular webinar for a lot of reasons. Obviously, uh, I think that the opportunity to learn more about Social Security and help your clients is one reason. Uh, the opportunity to meet more clients with Social Security expertise is another reason, which we can talk about here today as well. Uh, and so there's really a, a ever uh, ever-present reason in our business to be more cognizant of what Social Security could do for our clients. And so we're going to talk today uh, with the coach Dave Pimper. He's going to walk you through probably the top four or five things that are uh, important to know about Social Security. We'll offer the opportunity to really dive deep into Social Security claiming. If that's what you want to do, we'll offer opportunity to use that expertise to get in front of more clientele uh, via radio or uh, uh, seminars, which shows, by the way, are, are uh, blowing up right now we've we're seeing better attendance there than we've seen uh really since 2020 uh and i think just people more comfortable getting in groups so really good stuff today and i'm going to run through a couple of things here that i want to make sure you're aware of that we offer here at iams we've got a great new producer builders program uh that has uh, been an ongoing uh, program of ours for about the past 15 years and the only thing that have changed is the levels and the opportunities for you in there uh, looking at our group here i know we probably have 15 to 20 of you that are still uh, within your first 180 days of uh, being part of iams and so you're still eligible for these uh, for those of you that uh, have been with us longer obviously anytime that we can talk about ways to grow your business and and assist you we're gonna we're gonna talk about that specifically around radio or social security seminars, that would be a good conversation for us to have after the meeting. If you'd like to give me a buzz. Uh, a couple other ways, obviously, we send out regular checks to producers is through referrals. They refer just like you. We built our business on referrals, really. Uh, and that hasn't changed since 1986. Uh, just like for you, as you know, those are you're going to be your best customers. And producers referred to us by other producers are always our uh, best and most loyal customers as well. So we reward that with a little cash payout. Uh, and hopefully, I, I'm looking at some of you folks on with us today, and I know you take benefit from that. And of course, we'd, we'd love to send those out. As you know, we we have to spend a lot of money every day to do our advertising, and I, we'd much rather spend that uh, by giving it to our producers. And really, that's how we look at it. Uh, marketing reimbursement, a simple program. Every every time you do business with us, we put money into your marketing reimbursement account. You spend money to grow your business, and we match your spend dollar for dollar, so effectively doubling the value of your of your market. Uh, marketing efforts. Um, most of our agents, this is a slide that we've had for a long time, uh, most of you now do your applications via Firelight. For those of you that don't, I think the adoption of that that we've seen over the last couple of years is a testament to how much easier that can make your life. I hope you take advantage of that and try a couple if you're not currently doing it. Right now, I think we're probably up to you know, 50, 60 percent of our, our applications are now coming in at an e-app platform and fire, it, we've made that easy. Obviously, from our website, you can now access uh, most carriers e-applications. If you don't know how to do that, call your sales director. It's about a two or three minute registration process. And then instead of having to go from carrier to carrier website, you can now just go come to our website and, and access all of your carriers. So really easy way to do it. Um, a lot of good reasons to do Firelight applications. Probably the best or the most pressing of those is I because of the uh, some of the the issues that carriers have in getting business now into their system is they increase their technology platforms receiving applications for them uh, in an e-app format. Uh, makes the, it, it glide into their system so much quicker and so much smoother uh, that I would say within a year or two, maybe not a year, but within a couple of years, many of them will not accept applications probably any other way. So, uh, you know, don't don't wait till the end. Adopt adopt early if you can. We've got a great advertising team. So if you do anything to kind of grow your reputation locally, uh, we can help with that. And that's what the advertising team is there for. We'll do everything that we can pro bono. A lot of guys will use a marketing reimbursement when there's some cost items that need to be taken care of. Uh, so it, it, it effectively uh, is cost free. Uh, for you and at our expense, we'd love to do that for you and we'll continue to do that. But if you need some assistance, if you want to say, hey, you know, what, what can they do for me that can help me? Get with your sales director, let them walk you through it. Uh, I, 
most of our producers do not use Retirement Analyzer, but that's an ever-growing portion of our of our producer base that uses the Retirement Analyzer. And many that don't probably already have one that they use that's similar to it that they like better, which is great. Uh, I think that tools like these, uh, where, where and you can kind of see what you can help your client with and on the screen before you and kind of see the format that you can show your client. And I know many of you are out there thinking, well, I, you know, I, I still like yellow pad. I still like to, and I, I respect that. You know, that's the way I came up in the business, you know, draw the picture, go through a few things. Uh, you know, they, they obviously they depend on you in the end, they depend on you for recommendations and advice. But I will say that the Retirement Analyzer can help you systematize your business, systematize your approach, and systematize the output, and also uh, makes your clients a little bit uh, more dependent on you for those semi-annual and annual reports, which is a great thing. I mean, it keeps you keeps you relevant to your client uh, on their you know their financial picture for, for you know through retirement this is a this is a good thing it's kind of what you want to do is is promote not just a one off transaction but uh, regular transactions and regular assistance and makes you more frankly more referable so the the bonus when you're with IMS and you're doing business is we take care of that monthly expense for you, the retirement analyzer. We've got a couple of people here, Justin and Marcus, that are very good on the, they understand the product and they are, they're very good on the training of the retirement analyzer can help you with that. But beyond that, the folks at Retirement Analyzer are very accessible as well. They've got the great training tools. So that's why the reason we like the retirement analyzer we've been promoting them within our organization for the past 17 18 years is we like the quality of output that you get for the quantity of input so we want to make your life as easy as we can and obviously garbage in garbage out is going to happen no matter what program that you're using but in terms of what you can put into the retirement analyzer system and the quality of what you get out we think it's the best in the industry uh, also uh, we think the way that it produces that out for you is very understandable for you for your clients and help you to communicate things to your clients and so we pay if you're doing business with us we're going to pay your expense for that so get with marcus get with justin get with your sales director and if you want to learn more about uh, the retirement analyzer we'd love to help you with that uh, so park city utah you can see right here it says qualification period uh, 1 1 22 to 12 31 22 <laughs> so uh, but what we did and i know i'm just looking at our at our attendee group probably maybe one or two of you is on the cusp of qualification we did extend qualification through the end of january so uh, if you're still uh, looking at doing some athene business and you, you potential qualifying for that park city trip you've got time to do that yet so get that business in by the end of january and let's get you and your guest out of the park city it's going to be a beautiful retreat we're going to go out in august uh to and you can kind of see the pictures we've <laughs> we put before you're not the park city in the in the winter pictures but park city in the summer pictures so we're going to have a nice time out there we'll play a little golf for sure but there's so much to do out there for you and your guests it's a great area great hotel i love that hotel uh we'd love to have you join us out there and there's still time time to do that uh, again that athene premium that you did uh in uh, through the year uh all counts uh it's going to continue to count through the end of january and remember every every bit of that premium that you did from july forward also counts towards our top producer summit which is what we're going to look at here it's at kiwa island sanctuary resort at kiwa island i had the good fortune to be there uh, probably four or five years ago I love that it's a beautiful resort so much to do there uh, there's great golf of course uh, i think there's a pga event uh, that they hold on there annually on that on that property but they've got two or three other courses they've got uh, you know, obviously beaches, a beautiful area of the country, a lot to see. And we're going to go out there in uh, April of 2024. So you still got a full year to qualify. That's what we do an 18 month qualification here. So you've got a full year to qualify yet. Uh, and uh, many of you are well on your way right now. We're, we have a, uh, our biggest qualifying group ever uh, for that on pace to qualify. So love to have you and your guests join us out there. The top 20 will also enjoy an extra day. <laughs> Again, I had the, uh, just this past year, stayed at the hotel called the Charleston Place, beautiful, wonderful property right in that downtown Charleston. Charleston is a 
great place to great place to spend some time. A lot of history there, a lot of great food, a lot of a lot of music, uh, a lot of a lot of fun to be had in Charleston. And top twenty uh, are going to join us there at, uh, at the full concierge level uh, at the Charleston place. So we'd love to have you and your guests join us for that as well. So let's talk about social security maximization with the coach, Dave Pimper. Dave has been coaching with us for 15, 16 years, been in the business since 1981, 550 uh, public seminars, radio experience uh, spanning across probably 25, 30 years at some level or another. Does retirement boss radio for us right now, promotes social security seminars and helps us uh, with our producers that want to get into that business. Uh, also uh, has regular seminars that he does and does practice management coaching so great to have a resource like that and i would say that and i, I believe dave if you're on you'd probably agree with this i do so, i do yeah. i didn't even hear so, you say it yet, but i agree, agree with yeah. you yeah that's social security of all the seminar systems that we've ever introduced we, and we've had a lot of successes and continue to have a lot of successes with other seminars but as far as consistency and uh, you know helping our producers get in front of more clients uh, more potential clients around a very, uh, a, a very uh, code, you know, really important subject matter to help you help your client and also to help them find their way through their retirement. There's nothing that has compared with social security uh, seminars. And we're gonna talk about social security claiming and how you can best do that today, which is kind of the base. Uh, but we'll talk to uh, a little bit about ways to put you in front of clients, which is really uh, the most important part of, of this uh, webinar from my standpoint. So uh, Dave, you wanna, you wanna kind of take over and walk the folks through social security claiming. I told them we'd go through the top points and then give them a little I, couple ideas on how to get in front of some clients here over the next uh what probably 40 minutes or so so i'll i'll turn yeah. the turn the table over to you absolutely in fact actually it's about 30 minutes so we'll, we will be done at 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 a quarter till the hour so we got about 33 minutes or so and we're going to cover a lot of information i'm a big believer that social security claiming if you work with the pre-retired or just retired and don't know social security claiming, you're going to lose out on a lot of business. You're going to lose business to other advisors that really understand this topic. So I will tell you right now, it's a difference if you're working with 20 and 30 year olds because they don't think they're going to get social security anyway. If you're working with 70 and 80 year olds, you know what? They've already got social security. They've already done their claiming. But if you're working with someone from 50 to say 60, 50 to 70, 50 to 68, 69. That's who I work with. I do a lot of rollover business. I mean, I just did a, a marketing, it was actually was a movie yesterday, had a lot of folks who got eight appointments from it. It, was, it came after snow, so maybe I've been down a little bit. I was hoping for 10 appointments, but we got eight appointments. And i tell you what, knowing social security is a big part of that retirement planning. So if you have any questions whatsoever, certainly go in uh type them in and we are gonna talk about social security claiming comes with sarah o'brien from ms uh, cnbc most retirees get little advisor help on social security a majority of older americans get no professional advice about a key part of retirement planning social security even if they work with a financial advisor how wild is that even if they work so I'm telling you right now, and I said this yesterday in front of those 31 folks that, that came to the, to the marketing event, the movie event, what happens is, is that I was on stage and I said, whether it's Morgan Stanley, Merrill Lynch, UBS, Edward Jones, um, Northwestern Mutual, that MetLife rep, there's only about one out of every 20 or 25 advisors, including CPAs, lawyers, and, and the bankers, that really understand Social Security. It sets you apart from the crowd. So let's take a test. Let's take a test and just, just see what you know. Only one in 300 seniors could ace this. I aced it. Hey, yay! But there's one tough question. But let's see, if, let's see how many of you get right on this, okay? So take, you're going back to school, take this test with me. So it says to maximize your monthly social security checks, at what age must you claim the benefits? So say you're single, okay, to maximize your monthly social security check, at what age must you claim benefits? Come on, so, so, so think about that. So we're gonna come up with the answer here in like three seconds. 
the correct answer is not full retirement age, but age 70. Yep. If you wait to 70, you're going to maximize your Social Security check. Pretty cool. Okay, next slide. See if you got this one right. What's the earliest age you can receive, can receive survivor's benefits if you're not disabled? What's the earliest age you can receive survivor's benefits if you are not disabled? What's the answer? Write it down. Here we go. 60. Not 62, but age 60 if there's a death and there's a survivor benefit. Does your spouse, question three, does your spouse need to receive benefits for you to qualify for spousal benefits? So does your spouse, do they have to, do they have, do they have to um, receive their benefits, start the benefits for you to qualify for a spousal benefit or can you get the spousal benefit anyway, if they claim or not? Answer, yep, that spouse has to claim. Number four, can divorced spouses receive spousal benefits? That's a, that's a great question. Can divorced spouses receive spousal benefits? Yay or nay? Write it down. It is? Yeah, they can. But there are four stipulations, kind of the stars and moons have to line up. If you can guess two of the four, then I'm going to give this question to you right there's four stipulations see if you can get two of the four so just for the fun of it i'll give you one you have to be currently unmarried your spouse can be married but you have to be currently unmarried so i'm just going to give you one do you know one of the other three to get this answer right well here they are see if you got it right first of all your marriage lasted 10 years that's another one you're currently unmarried. Your ex is at least 62. Divorce was at least two years ago or longer. If you got two of those right. I gave you one. But if you got another one right, I'll give you that answer. Last question. Are you eligible for survivor's benefits if you're divorced? Are you eligible for survivor's benefits if you are divorced? Yay or nay? Eligible for survivor's benefits if you're divorced. What do you think? Yep, you are. And those four stipulations have been met. So, you know, I mean, you know, you know, your your marriage lasted ten years or longer. You're currently unmarried. Your ex is at least sixty-two or older. Divorce happened two years ago or longer. So I'm going to give that to you. So how'd you do? How'd you do on those five questions? So. Uh, most people don't do very well. They, they get one or two right. If you got three or four right, that's pretty darn good. You didn't guess on it, but you actually knew the answer. Pretty darn good. If you got all five right, you should be you should be coaching. Because <laughs> those aren't the easiest questions, and they aren't just multiple choice where you can guess. But but someone who really understands Social Security, which which you can from coaching, you're going to learn a little bit today. But we go it in depth and we role play. I already did a coaching a call with the fellow this morning uh, at, at, at quarter to eight. Um, but there's three ways you can, from us, from IAMS and Dave Pimper. I'm not part of the FMO. I'm a coach. I'm a producer. But I, but I coach our production. Just like yesterday, I mean, we got eight appointments. I got another workshop, a seminar, this one. that Yesterday was a retirement movie at a movie theater. And we had a big snow that day and the day before. So it, it, it lessened uh, some of the people who came. But we have another big, I mean, we got I mean, signups right now. We got around 70 signups. And this one happens to be uh, the eight mistakes retirees make with their money. And then, then we're coming right back in and doing a social security here within a couple, three weeks. So we, we do a lot of marketing. I market all my programs are available through IAMS, Insurance Agency Market Services. And I do a radio program. <laughs> so on the radio program, um, I'm on for an hour. Every week on a, the top AM radio station, it was a Rush Limbaugh station, so it's a biggie. But we coach you up. Uh, if you do that radio program, I mean, the cost is, you know, it's not cheap, but it's three to $4,000 a month. But think about being on a radio station. You know, we average 10 plus appointments a month. And I'm very happy with that. We're actually having, we, we want to get 10 or more. 
and we coach you up on social security at, at no cost to you. Three sessions, no cost to you, because I am space for it. They stipend me to coach you on social security workshops. We, I coach you up on social security. I'll, if you're really well read and you understand it, no, then I just take one coaching session and go through some of the important slides, the beginning and the ending, how to start the seminar, how to end it. But you know, I've done 500 and 547 public workshops and a lot of other marketing things. So my whole goal is I, I want to have appointments all the time, which I've been pretty successful at that here uh, for many, many years. But we coach you up on that also with Social Security, no charge to you. Or you can just say, Dave, I don't want to, I don't want to pay for marketing. I got enough clients or I don't need any more prospects, but I want to, I really want to learn social security. Yeah. $800 and you're, and you're coached up on social security. I give you four sessions. Nice thing is you can use me. I mean, if you got questions after that, um, I'm on a retainer with IAMS. They pay me a little stipend. I have nothing to do with your hierarchy, nothing to do with your commissions. I don't know what you make. I hope you produce a lot, but we know that if you know social security, your production goes up. It's 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 not guaranteed, but you know Social Security, you have a big, big advantage over a lot of other advisors. 59% of retirees count their Social Security as their major source of income, more than pensions, retirement plans like 401ks and personal savings. It's a big deal. Look at this. This came out about a couple, couple two and a half years ago from Shanna Heron with USA Today. It's titled, Doing This One Thing With Your Social Security Can Mean Losing 100 Grand in retirement. How much is social security claiming at the wrong time cost you? Retires who lose an average of 111,000 income per household over their lifetime. Why? Because they took social security benefits at the wrong time. Only 4% of retirees took it at the right time. Only 4%. And you know what happens when we talk to people, it isn't that they take it at the exact maximum time. It's just, yeah, I always ask, well, when did you want to take it? Have you ever thought about this, this, or this? And all of those are better, so they're maximizing it more. Maybe they don't maximize it to the full, but they maximize it more. 95% of all Americans in retirement age take Social Security benefit. One out of every five Americans have right now are taking a Social Security benefit. Remember, it also works with the disabled and with children, yeah, at-home children. Uh, for 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 couples who are taking Social Security, so it's a it's a cool, neat benefit. Most people don't take it at the right time. That's the that's the interesting thing. Okay, I'm trying to get forward here. There we go. So down memory lane started in 1935. 65 was the only age you could originally take it. People get goofed up on that on Medicare. Medicare you have to take at 65, unless you're with a company employer plan of 20 or more employees group, but not so scary. You can take as early as 62, as late as 70. Take a 62, it's reduced. Take a 70, it's increased. That started happening in 1961, where they made those differences in age 65. Remember, 87 years ago or 88 years ago, average age of longevity, 62. And you could take it at 65. There are 15 people working forever retired in 1950. Today, there's 2.8. We got very much of an aging society. COLA's automatic cost of living allowances, which is 8.7% this year, started in 1975. There was no taxation until 83, and a bigger up to 85% is in the taxable amount in 85. Bipartisan Budget Act, that was the last big reform. There hasn't been a big reform since that. Here's, here's how it works. If you know nothing about Social Security, Here's, I mean, here it is in, 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 in two minutes, okay? Listen closely. You got three ages or dates that are important to you. you everything goes off of you getting your full benefit, 100% or your normal benefit. And let's just say it's $2,000. Depending on your age, your full retirement age is somewhere today between 66 age and 70. Oh, excuse me, 66 and 67. 66 and 67 of your retirement age. If you can take as early as age 62, you can't take earlier than 62. If you take early, it's reduced 
for the rest of your life. The good point is you're getting the money now. So if you need the money, you're, you're hard up for cash. It could be worthwhile. If you're not going to live long enough, to, it'd be worthwhile taking it early. But if you've got a good life expectancy and you don't have to have that money, it grows substantially from full retirement age to 70. At 70, are you forced to take your benefit? No. But if you don't take it, you just lose it. So, of course, virtually everybody takes their benefit by 70. So 62 is the earliest. 70 is the latest. That it keeps growing. And then full retirement. So every year you wait longer than full retirement, it's guaranteed to grow 8%. It's, if you take early, it's called an actuarial reduction. Everything's done from full retirement age. That's the basics of Social Security claiming. Can it have a huge value? Yeah, if you claim at your right time, not the right time, not a right time, but claim at your right time, yeah, you certainly could. You have to live long enough to, to enjoy it, but, but claiming at your right time. Last year was the first net decrease we've had since 1983. 56 billion because lots of baby boomers were furloughed and quit their job or laid off and quit their job or fired and quit their job. They just said, I'm done. A lot of those are coming back now, but tons of people took, took social security. So that's because of the pandemic. 2.8 trillion. Will that 2.8 trillion in the social security trust fund, will that start going away? Yeah, they claim the administrative social security administrators claim that in the year 2034 or 2035, the Social Security Trust Fund will be bankrupt. It will go out. So when you hear, you hear Social Security is going bankrupt, it's the trust fund. It's not the benefit. The benefit can't go belly up because it's, it's paid through by payroll taxes or by FICA. FICA, it, that, that Federal Insur uh, Insurance Contributions Act, that pays that 6.2% or you pay it. And then the employer also pays 6.2%. Okay? So if, if, it would, if the trust fund wouldn't be there to borrow money from, if there's not enough benefit, yeah, you're going to get about between 75 and 80%. You're still going to get a benefit. It would be reduced, but there'll, there'll be some changes. And the type of changes is either going to be taxation or they're going to increase the, the age. Remember, 65 was the first full retirement age. Average. Longevity was 62. Today, average longevity is well into the 70s, high 70s, early 80s, and and so. But full retirement now is just 67. So the high, the, the most. So I, I think there should be done something with age. Is it a Ponzi scheme? Absolutely not. Never have missed a legitimate payment. Um, why people say it's a Ponzi scheme because that trust fund who buys special issued treasury bonds, no market value adjustment for interest rate, and the coupons at about 3% or a little above 3 They can cash those out at any time. That's what they purchase. But you know what they're doing? Right away, they're selling those. Right away, they're going in and marketing those uh, and paying off, uh, selling and paying off parts of the, of the general budget. But they replace it with IOUs. That's what they replace it with. Almost all of it is IOUs. Very little bonds in there now. So they said nothing, nothing hard. There's a bond that backs the trust fund. There's a gold. There's a silver. You know what happens is it's 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 an IOU by the U.S. federal government. And I always say, what what backs the currency in your pocket? Are you concerned about that? That dollar bill, that five, ten, twenty, fifty, hundred? Don't. No. no. What backs that? Nothing. Gold went off the standard of seventy four. Silver went in the early thirties. Bitcoin? No. Nothing backs that. Bonds? No. Same thing. I back Social Security. So when you when when currency goes bad, then, then now I'm going to be concerned about Social Security. But they need to make some changes, or the trust fund, not Social Security, won't stop because that'll be reduced. But the trust fund will have no money. We don't want that to happen. You need 40 quarters of coverage. They're called work credits now. Up until 1978, they were quarters. I still use that lingo, but they're actually work credits. You need 1,600 and Twenty dollars, twenty or forty. But I think sixteen twenty is what you need to make this year to get a quarterly credit. You can get the max of four quarters. That means you have to work ten years. If you have thirty nine quarters, sorry Charlie, you got to have forty to get a benefit. 
It's the earnings over your working career that take the highest 35 inflation adjust, uh, in, inflation adjusted years, not three years, not five years like the last three years or five years of a pension, but 35 years. It's inflation adjusted. So just if you're in the 60s and you worked and you got 25 grand back in the late 70s, no, you probably maximized your benefit because it's inflation adjusted. Just as if the $162,200, excuse me, yeah, it's $160,200 today is the max. Above that, you don't pay into Social Security. So it, that, that's the maximum. That's the cutoff. Okay? Last year, 5.9. This year, 8.7% cost of living. I love that dog. <laughs> Full retirement age, FRA, a lot of acronyms. If you're born from 43 to 54, your full retirement age is 66. I was born in 55, 66 years and two months. How about if you're born 1960 or later, 67? A newborn child born today, age 67 is full retirement age. Could that change in the future? I think that it will, but yes, it certainly could. I don't think it'll affect people probably 60 and over when they make that change. So if you take before full retirement age, it's going to be reduced. If you take it early as 62, there's going to be a, between, a, between when you're born, but a 25 to 30% discount in your benefit. It's a big discount for the, for the rest of your life. How about after you gain eight guaranteed 8%? That's what I'm doing. The last two years, I've gained 8%. You know, with eight per, my, my benefit, I've been a pretty good wage earner. My benefit's a little over 3,000 bucks. So let's say 3,000. So I'm guaranteed for it to grow 8% if I wait one year. So from 66 to 67, guaranteed. Actually, it's 66 two to 67 two. And I'm going to let it grow to 68 two, which is in, in, in June of this year. It'll be my second year of delayed retirement credits. But you know what? At 8.7% cost of living adjustment and 8% delayed retirement credits, I get paid 16.7% on 3000 bucks. You know what? That's $500 extra I'm going to make this year because I let it delay. I'd have got, I would have got the inflation part of it anyway, whether you take it or whether you're, but you know what? 500 bucks. I'm not paying any taxes on it because I'm deferring it till age 70. You know what? Only 5% of all Americans wait until 70. You know why? Because they're uneducated. That's what we can do when you really know Social Security. Learn that we've got some great books, great attachments. When you're coaching with me, we're role playing. I'll tell you right now, if you don't know Social Security and you're working with people from 50 to 70 years of age, meaning that's that's the epicenter for the fixed indexed annuity. And because of rates, there's a lot of fixed annuities right now. I mean, I did yesterday. I mean, I did. I did two two dice trades, both about two hundred thousand on the same person. Came from a variable. Yeah, I mean, I, you know, I went out and I went out longer because I think rates will go down in the future. So instead of the five or seven years that I normally do, I I went ten years. Yeah, but I'm talking about five five point one through I it was five point one percent for ten years guaranteed. Five point one. The ten year treasury is only paying three point five right now. CDs aren't going to go out five years or three years or four years. You might be able to get a four, four and a quarter percent on a CD for seven months or 15 months because they know interest rates are going to go down. We're locked in for 10. How great is that? My fixed income had a double digit cap return on the uh, true S&P point to point. No internal fees. I mean, what a great time. What a great time to be showing fixed index and fixed. I mean, I, you, it might, in my, by 42 years, I've never seen things more competitive than right now. Spousal. Got to ask for it or done automatically for a spousal benefit. Everybody says it's done automatically. It's not. Or it, it's, you have to ask for it. It's not. You, it, it's done automatically. It's called the deeming. They're going to give you the better of either. So here's what happens. Dave, primary insurance amount, it's called PIA, 2400 Amy's PIA, primary insurance amount, 1000 Say they both retire. Dave gets his 2400. Amy has an option. She can she can take a thousand, or it jumps up to 1200. Well, automatically it's called the deeming rule. Automatically, the government comes in. They he, they give her her thousand for her, but they give her a spousal top up of 200 bucks. It's done automatically. 
She gets all of hers or half of the spouse. How about survivor's benefits? My wife always says no one gets out of here alive. How true is that? Dave and Amy are married, full retirement age, so no discounting. Dave's benefits, two grand. Amy's benefits, 1,200. Who dies first? The guy does. So, Amy, so Dave kicks the bucket. Amy can keep her benefit and not, not take days. She can drop her benefit and take days. She cannot take both benefits. So what's she going to do? She's going to drop her benefit and take days. Does she have to request this? Yes. So security doesn't know that, that that your spouse died. Pretty cool. And they're also when, when people say file and suspend went away with the bipartisan budget act of two of two fifteen, it, it didn't go away for survivor benefits. So you know what? You can take as early as eighty at a twenty eight and a half percent discount. Makes no the difference what your what your full retirement age is. There's a twenty eight and a half percent discount. You can take like your your widow's benefit. And then let yours grow, 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 and hopefully yours gets bigger than that. You can reverse it, but you can take only the widow's benefit until full retirement age. It doesn't help you after that because there's no delayed retirement credits on it. I know this sounds complicated, but when we're coaching it, you know, I go much slower re-roll play. I've got handouts to give you. I mean, there's just a lot of different things. But but you can tell the average American's not going to know this. The average advisor's not going to know this. Lawyers don't know this. Bankers don't. CPAs surely don't. Numbers, no. But you can. You can coach. And, and, and I'm going to help you one-on-one. -on -one. That's what we do. Divorce spouse benefits. Remember, remember those four things? You're married for 10 years or longer continuously. You're currently unmarried. X is at least 62 or older. Married, uh, married the divorce was two years ago or longer. Yeah. All those have to line up. Why is it important to act as if your spouse, you're still married to them? For Social Security, more options. doesn't always help you, but it gives you a lot more options. Coordinating spousal benefits. Restricted application is still around, but I only ran into it two times last year. It's still December 31st of this year, but what happens is the recipient, the one requesting the benefit in the, file, the restricted application, has to be born before January 2nd in 1954. That makes him 69 years old, and it only lasts till the end of this year. But there's a benefit there of about 500 in this uh, uh, hypothetical of what he could get. So if you're born before January 2nd in 1954, you're 69 years of age or older, not, and not older than 70, okay? Because then it ends. Dave's primary insurance amount is 2400 and Amy's is a thousand, twenty four hundred and a thousand. Amy takes her benefit. Dave's gonna let his grow, so he'll get that eight percent guarantee until seventy. So for almost another year, because he's sixty nine. But if he says I want to restrict it, now he can reach out and take half of Amy's. Yeah, it's just free money. It's a spousal benefit. Restricted is kind of a loophole, and they're phasing it out. Yeah, but that five hundred bucks. So I mean. If you go for 11 months, it's 5,500 bucks. Free money. It's phasing out on December 31st. It will be done. But or unless it's repealed, which it won't. But that's pretty cool. It comes up once in a great while. Not not too often. So when I was going to do this, I called my CPA lawyer banker, and I want to know who they, they refer to on Social Security, or do they know it themselves? Every one of them said, we don't know Social Security. And I and, and they all said we refer to the Social Security Administration if, if our if our client needs advice. You know what's bizarre? What's bizarre to me? The Social Security Administration cannot give you advice. Let me say that again. The Social Security Administration cannot give you advice. They can give your highest benefit of what you're entitled to now. Or at, at three years at 66 or at 70 they can give the benefit they can't say why they they can't ask all the questions we ask to really find out a true social security benefit don't you need to know how long you think you're going to live don't you need to know a little bit about that dna of your close intimate um, family don't don't you need to know what your income what your assets like 401ks and IRAs and real estate and savings, they need, we ask that. How about, how about 
you know, what your expenses are. Income in retirement on your traditionals, yeah. Do they ask them, hey, do you know this from the SECURE Act? Uh, retirement uh, uh, required minimum distributions on traditional IRAs and 401ks and 403bs and thrifts. It's not 72 years of age now. Now it's 73. Did you know that? Most people don't. Called the SECURE Act 2.0. We ask all those questions. The question I ask is, well, when did you want to take? I mean, I ask them, you know, I'd be the right time. Social Security can't do any of that. Wow. It just puts us in such a unique position to help our client. Here's right from their program operational manual called POMS for the Social Security employee. Provide enough information so that claimants can make informed choices, but do not give advice. I, I Every time I read that, and I've done hundreds of times, if not thousands, it's just wild to me that that is how they do it. So income streams. And you need to consider all of them, how they work together. It's not a standalone income stream, most flexible. You can start when you want to start, claiming at your right time, not the or a right time is paramount. And when you're figuring out the break even, remember the survivor's benefit. My dad has been dead for 17 and a half years. My mom has been living off of his uh, uh, survivor benefit. It's 1503 a month, $1,503 a month. You know what? My mom has gotten nearly a third of a million dollars in my dad's benefit since he passed away. How important is that? So I, I, I do a lot of my fact finding from this slide that I put on a sheet of paper, but I find out what their income is full part time, what their pensions are, they're lucky enough to have one, what their income producing assets are that could be like 401ks, 403bs, IRA savings what their RMD is. It's actually not at 72 because it's been increased to 73. And then how Social Security conduits or blends into complements those other four income streams. That's how you find out when you need to take Social Security. There's just so many things to consider, so many kinds of benefits to consider when you're looking at Social Security. Remember this. And don't, and don't forget this. Steve, in a couple slides, is going to put up on the screen, do you want uh, a 15-minute consultation with me on the phone? There's absolutely no cost. There's no pressure. There's no hidden um, hook to it. I just want to know if Social Security can help you or answer any of your questions. But, but either, either to, just to, to know that subject or to market it. I mean, I mean, every marketing thing I do, I talk about Social Security somewhere within the marketing. Last night in the movie theater, now I'm up there and I'm talking about it. When part of the movie, they have a gal that's an expert in, you know, with the Social Security Administration trustees talking about that program. That's how important it is. People don't know Social Security. 2,700 rules laden with the rules. But there's three ways. You can do it through seminar marketing, 2750 bucks, guarantee you 35 people to sign up. Yeah, guarantee it. Otherwise, we, we start paying your money back. Yeah, we don't have that many. We coach you up on Social Security. There's no cost, no strings. I am pays me. They know if you know Social Security, the chance of you going in and having more production, how they make money, goes up, heightens. Retirement Boss Radio, yeah. Yeah, it's not cheap. It's three to four thousand bucks a month, but being on the radio, it's really helped my business. I mean, I've done radio for many, many years. We coach you up. How about just hey, I don't want any co I don't want any marketing. Just I just wanted to learn social security from you, Dave. Yeah, four sessions costs us eight hundred dollars. There's you know, and you've got uh, each one of those you got availability to me. Not not to re coach you, but any questions you have that I can answer in a kind of in a, a short in a quick time period. Okay. Next slide. It's an old saying. It says, procrastination is my sin. It brings me constant sorrow. I really shouldn't practice it. Perhaps I'll stop. When? Never. You never stop. You're not going to stop tomorrow because you're procrastinating. I love that saying because I'll tell people, people who take action are the people who are the most successful. Not, not just in life, but in business. You know, have you ever heard anybody come to you and say, hey, how did you make your millions? Oh, man, I'm a procrastinator. I'm the best procrastinator. I mean, I made so much money from procrastinating. 
you got to take action. People who take action make more money. And I say that because if you heard something that we just talked about with Social Security, you need to mark yes on this. Let me talk with you. Let me give you some ideas or, you know, and it revolves to maybe different marketing or what you're doing. And, you know, but, 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 but how can you go on in and, and, and optimize your production? I'm a production coach. I mean, the reason it's called Lazarus Coaching and the reason that my slogan is make your sales come to life is from biblical Lazarus. And on the back of my card from Stephen Covey, I said, if we keep doing what we're doing, we're going to keep going. If we keep doing what we're doing, you're going to get keep getting what you're getting. I mean, you got to change something. Changing to understand Social Security, I'm going to tell you right now, you'll be amazed. And I can help you to be that amazement. Steve, I'm going to hand it over to you and let you talk and see if there's any questions that we need to answer here before we button it up. You bet. And I did put the poll up, and so you have opportunity to vote. We'll have that poll up for a minute or two. Um, and, you know, we you do the procrastination slide regularly, and I don't think anyone would disagree that, hey, you not, just by continuing to put things off, you're not going to make money. It's only going to hurt your business. But I think it does make sense to take a few minutes uh, and consider your options, uh, maybe delve into them a little bit more deeply. And that's really what we're talking about. If you want to spend a few minutes with Dave, Dave, everyone that he talks to doesn't end up saying, yeah, let's do social security seminars or yeah, let's do radio or yeah, let's do social security coaching. What your time with Dave on the phone will be is to see if it's a fit for what you're doing. Not everybody is cracked up to be on the radio for whatever reason. I will say that getting on the, the radio is easier than almost everyone that we talk to thinks. You know, and you know, having someone to walk you through that A to Z is really the key uh, to success. If you're gonna say, you know what, I wanna start getting on the radio and start doing that on your own, you're right, that's daunting. Uh, but if you have a you have uh, the assistance of Dave and his team at Lazarus Coaching, uh, that can be made to be fairly simple. And Dave said, yeah, it's not cheap, three to four, th we'll think about what really is expensive to you. Is it more expensive to do nothing? Or is it expensive uh, to maybe invest in your business right now? Uh, Dave talked a little bit about the quality of the marketplace in 22 and going into 23. You know, this is a great time uh, to, the more people that know what you can do for them, the more people you're going to do business with right now. And so getting your name out there, whether it's because you're doing seminars or you got on the radio or you're doing mailings or, you know, that's it's this is an efficient time. This is a great time to get good return on your investment in this marketplace. And so I hope you'll take advantage of that. Dave, the work I answered a couple questions already as we go on there. Pretty general uh, question about can do we. Uh, make these slides available. I let everybody know that they can go onto the website or they're going to get an offer to hear this, to have a recording of this event. So they can certainly see the slides again that way. Uh, there's a couple questions here about uh, radio areas available. I think what the best thing there is if you have a question about whether there's availability in, in your area or an area near you that you want to explore for radio or what might be uh, available. Dave would not know that off the top of his head anyway, and so that would be a good reason to have a phone call. Talk to Dave a little bit about your area. Uh, you know, one, there is a minimum kind of requirement that you have for that, Dave. What's the, what, what are you looking for in terms of a minimum uh, size of an area to be able to do radio? I would say 100,000. That's normally what we say. If you have 100,000 people within within the like when you take a look at a radio graph, kind of lines that go out, there needs to be 100,000 within that first or first second line. If you don't have 100,000 population, not that you won't get calls and you won't get appointments, but you, you just don't have enough people listening because we, we need basically thousands of people listening to go in and get that 10, 12 appointments a month, which 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 we average even more than that. So 100,000 people, Steve, that would be important. Got it, got it. And you answered the second question that they're not, one of the questions that popped up here too was how many appointments do you get from radio? So you're, you target, you know, for your coaching clients, their target is always minimum of around that 10 to 10 or so a mm -hmm. month. Yep, that's right. Absolutely. Yep. And you get more. Why do you think you get more? I mean, you're consistently above that yourself, and some of your other radio hosts are consistently above that. Why do you think that is? Is it just 
is it quality of program? Is it consistency? What do you think the what would you say the the most likely reason for the higher appointment levels that you get? Because I'm really good. <laughs> no, I'm just, yeah. <laughs> well, I am pretty good. But you know what? The funny thing is, Steve, isn't it wild how good the production can make you sound? All the mistakes I make when I'm, you know, let's do that over again. Let's let's kind of redo that. I mean, mm-hmm. I'm telling you what. Uh, is there someone that could be horrible at it? Maybe. But but if you go in and listen to the folks that are doing it right now, um, they make them sound really good. Plus, I've done this for a long time. So, you know, like Retirement Boss Radio, believe it or not, you know, it's been on for almost almost three and a half years now. And so people, I, like last night, I said, I said um, uh, to the folks, I'm on uh, KFAB at 12 o'clock on Sundays, and two people came up to me afterwards and said, we've heard you. We've heard you on radio before. So it kind of gives you a bit of that celebrity status. I would say the reason that I it's a little higher, um, I would say, I would say just from the longevity that I've been on, and have I had some tough weeks or a couple weeks? Yeah, yeah, everybody does in marketing. Have I had some unbelievable, I've had seven appointments in one week before. And those are set appointments. It's a recorded show, but it's set appointments by the inbound call center. So it's a pretty slick operation. We got it down pat, and, and um, we have folks that are really, really um, doing a great job with radio for us, and we're really happy about that. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Why don't you just keep that a radio show that you got seven appointments? Why don't you just keep playing that one every Sunday? <laughs> if it was just that easy, huh? Just repeat it, repeat it, repeat it. But you, yeah. you never know. Yeah, yeah and, and the show's an hour show, but you actually record in your office, your home, your den, your car, as long as you've got a, you got a computer screen and a and a Wi-Fi. But, you know, what what happens in the Internet, well, what happens is um, you have show notes, and um, I help, and I coach you up. And if you don't know Social Security, I coach you up on that. And, Steve, you're nice enough to, to pay for it. But you know, if you go in and look at your top, your big producers that you have with your FMO, I would say the majority of, not maybe all, but 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 the majority of those do a good job of marketing, but a lot of them really understand social security and helps people in this class. So, you know, social security does help your production. There's no doubt about it. Yeah, just the knowledge of it. And, you know, I look at our top producers, you know, the top, say, 60 to 70 that are maybe averaging, you know, that four to five million or so of annual production. And they all do something, at least one thing systematic. A lot of them do one or two things systematic. I mean, what would you say? What do you do systematically? Do radio systematically? You do your social security seminars systematically? Are those your two basic? I mean, I know you do client appreciation dinners and you've done those pretty pretty regularly yeah. but yeah what else what am i thinking that we're well you know like i do it i mean we do a newsletter every month a hard newsletter Paper. we go in systematic we go in systematically and and every day i i have a 15 minute phone reviews with my existing clients that's automatic i mean i did a you know what if if, if we can get enough people enough appointments and i'm 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 uh, happy with happened yesterday but you know what i mean we're doing a movie now a retirement movie i mean i've got uh, besides social security i mean i got other workshops this eight mistakes workshop i mean we got 70 people signed up 70 now they're not all going to come to facebook but but you know what to have that steak dinner i mean i I don't know how many appointments i'm going to get out of that but it's going to be a lot that's next tuesday and thursday that's you know what now now again that's the first time i've done that for a while so systematically maybe not and i'll tell you what happens is just by work a day in general, I I tell you what, just tell you what's so fun. I mean, I walk in, I look at my calendar, and I say, my gosh, I got a lot of appointments today. It's almost almost every single day. My Mondays and Fridays are a little slower, but my Tuesday, Wednesdays, and Thursdays, I'm seeing as many people for an hour appointments that I possibly can, and I do that through marketing. And you know what? I'm a I'm a pretty good salesperson. But I'm a real good marketer, and and I'm happy to all my programs are available, you know, through IMs, which is pretty cool. Yeah, it is a, it is a nice benefit, I think, to our producers, uh, and I appreciate you doing that for us. So, um, in addition to coaching, do you provide training on organizing and workshops? Oh, so we talked. Uh, so you you talk about the training you provide on organizing and workshops. Yeah, so 
what happens is you mean if a person goes in and signs up for a workshop, Steve, is that what they're asking? Yeah, I think the, I think the question is that uh, just besides uh, training on Social Security, what if somebody says, hey, I want to start doing workshops, what, what can they expect from the Lazarus coaching team? Well, we handle everything. I mean, we have third parties like the third party, Facebook, um, 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 you know, marketing. That's done third party. But Lynn and Natalie in our office, and mainly Lynn, she handles, she's our marketing internal person. So it really everything is going through her. You know, she, if there's a question of where to set up, it might be me or her, but, you know, the dates and making sure everything is on time and making sure all the marketing, marketing is key. You got to have people there. You'd be great at what you do, but you got to have people there. So we give a lot of support internally. Um, when I'm coaching, I mean, if it's like social security seminar, you know, I'm, I'm, I'm coaching you and, and you don't pay a thing for that coaching. And we meet a couple, three or four times, probably three times at least, to go through the, the seminar slides. I'm a big believer of how you start it and how you end it is extremely important. So we spend quite a bit of time on that, but it's handheld. But I, I'm, Steve, you know this, I'm, I'm very much of a process type. Like you say, what's your processes? I mean, I'm a very much of a process type person. There's a person says, gosh, that seems like a long surrender charge. I handle that objection the same way every time. Mm -hmm. I mean, if a person goes in and says, I want to think about it, I handle that the same way every time. Um, how I present it, what I do with the fact finder, how I find the money. Now, is it a perfect system? No, but you know what? The system doesn't fail me. And I know that I'm going to take more no's than I do yeses. But the yeses that we, like yesterday, I mean, you know, 417,000, you know, and, and I think the fixed annuity was 2.75%. And I, my broker dealer takes a cut. So my, my commission might be a little lower on my, on my fixed index, but it's 5%. So three, five, probably average 4%, 4% on, on 400. I mean, it's, it's a, it's a $16,000 day. And, and that one happened to come from radio. Mm -hmm. And and it started about a month and a half. We go through three coaching sessions. But I, I coach also the sales process. If a person wants to really know about required minimum, minimum distributions, we have a one hour. I charge 200 bucks, you know, for that 45 minutes or an hour. We do it on in-service. I mean, if there's a specific, I just did one with Curtis, you know, up, up. We brought on a brand new guy who was doing a seminar. And he uses a basically a seminar, my social security seminar. And he said, hey. Can you just coach them up for, for, for an hour about the seminar, what to do, what not to do? And we went and, and, and I mean, and, and he got a lot of good ideas of what to do and what not to do. So I'm just saying I'm, I'm, I'm a helper. I mean, I get paid for that. I get paid for my coaching either by, by, by IMs or by the person. But with those programs like, like radio and seminars, if, it, if it's Social Security and I'm coaching you up on Social Security, I'm coaching the exact same way as if I, if I got paid by you, but I don't. I am space me to coach you. And they, they know that social security makes that kind of impact on production if you really understand it. And obviously, you know, we haven't offered a seminar approach for the last 20 years. I don't think maybe, maybe a little bit short on that, that didn't, that wasn't accompanied with full A to Z. This is how you do a seminar yeah, you're right? Yeah. because there's just too many opportunities for small mistakes that make a big difference. And so, you know, we need to make sure that you have everything that you need to avoid any of those small mistakes and make a big difference in your outcome. Is your first seminar going to be your worst seminar? Probably. Uh, <laughs> but we want to make that worst seminar better than most guys, you know, regular seminars. We're going to, we're going to help my, you. My, my, my worst is better than your worst. <laughs> there you go. It does. You know, and some people say you're really a mentor. You know, I'd rather be a coach. I mean, you can mentor, but you don't. I'd rather be a coach. I'd rather a coach is more hands-on, more active, and that's what I am with those people. We do coaching. We do a lot of role playing. I'm a believer that you really get a good understanding is if you you ask questions. We actually role play like we're there. There's attachments. Uh, you get all of the handouts that we have. Like, I mean, it's just a it's a system. I mean, in in, in systems. You know, Steve, I had a, a fellow that 
uh, and we never did end up coaching, but he was telling me what was wrong with my seminar system. He said, this isn't going to work, Dave. And, you know, and I said, well, why don't I say it's going to work? He said, because this, 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 and this. And I said, well, how many social security workshops have you done that, that, that you did what you said? Well, none, but I just know. <laughs> well, you know what? I just said, well, you don't. You know, I mean, you don't. Right. You, don't you don't know until you yes. do it. Yep. When, once you give four or five seminars, what I like people to do is follow my track to the T. And then once they get the hang of it, if they want to go on in and change it four or five down the road and tweak it, absolutely. If you want to change wholesale, change it. Well, then you don't know what's going to happen. So it's like wholesale. If anybody golfs, you don't wholesale change your swing. You tweak it. And that's what you do with a good system. Mm -hmm. So the coaching is there available. And I, I understand the, the regarding the cost. So as Dave mentioned during the course of the event, so for 35 registrants, it costs 2750 And that's that price stays the same. But what Dave does is he'll give you the Social Security coaching, give you the Social Security seminar coaching is all part of that. So you're going to get the coaching that you need to be successful as really pro bono. Uh, and then after that, you're off and running. Uh, do you want to do two seminars a month? You do one seminar a month. You want to maybe do two in March and none in July. You know, that's that's all, uh, you know, you have somebody to talk to about that and see what makes sense for you. Uh, how do you want to start your seminar? How do you want to end your seminar? Where, where do you want to locate it? How do you want to, you know, do you have the seminar presentation? Is that all uh, in place for you? The answer to those questions are, are yes. And you've got an experienced group to help you through that process. And it's the same with radio. Nobody asked the question about it, but it's the same with radio. You know, it's a step by step. And this is how you can be successful in that. And here's what I'll say about radio right now is I don't think there's a better time to, to do radio. And, and I am so put our money where our mouth is on that. If you're a successful producer, thought about maybe radio might work for you, but not sure and want to maybe dive into it and want some, want some partnership as part of that approach financially, we're willing to do that here at IMS because the, there's some areas that are wide open that there is the chance of failure is almost non-existent. Uh, you know, it, 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 we'll help you through and, you know, Dave will do his evaluation. And if we think that there's a, we've got a, a good opportunity for success, we're going to partner with you on that financially. Uh, so let us know if that's of interest to you as well. Just social security seminars are, you know, that's, it, it's too easy. We've made that, that is uh, uh, right now, you're going to get people in the room and you're going to have the opportunity to talk about social security. They're going to want to make an appointment with you. And then you're going to have the opportunity to do that, go through that sales process. And Dave and his team have that down. I've talked to so many guys that have done a social security seminar, got people in front of them, got people to make appointments, but couldn't turn that corner. Uh, Dave has that, pro there's a process for that. And Dave has that for you. So, um, you know, if, if you want 23 to be different than 22, uh, then we can help you with that. You know, if it's just learn more about Social Security, that's great. Help your clients and meet more clients that way. That's great. If you want to get in front of more people with seminars or radio, we can help you with that. Social Security, you, you cannot do radio without understanding a good bit about Social Security. So that's a big part of it. You need to understand a lot about in-service, non-hardship withdrawals, Roth conversions. Uh, and that's, you know, we'll help you with that uh, You, if you don't already understand that. But it, as far as getting through, how do I do radio? That's A to Z, you know, in-depth training on how to do that. And if you need to, if you want to talk about what we can do here at IMS to help you through that process and help you financially get rolling, we can have that conversation as well. Give me a call here at the office, 800-255-5055. Thank you all for joining us today. Uh, we've got 100% of the folks have voted. I'm going to show you really quick. Um, see if I can do this. Steve, I'm going to have to scoot here. I got, okay. I'm just jumping. I have an 11 o'clock appointment, so so I'm a little bit late. So, hey, thank you, everybody. Steve's just finishing it on up, and I appreciate your time. Thanks, Dave. Appreciate you joining us here today. I'm going to show them where your website is, so that's all we're going to do. All right. Maybe. Um, So I had a question as to, Dave said, listen to one of his shows. So this is how you would do that. I'm going to chat you all the website. A second to do that. So you have that. And then we're going to go take a peek at it really quick. And I'm going to show you where, if you want to listen to radio show, you can do that. Oop, missed, mistyped it. 
you can see it's www.retirementbossradio.com. Go there. There it is, Retirement Boss Radio. There's Dave. Go down to the bottom, and you will see the podcast. And you can see they're in half-hour segments. So you can uh, go and uh, go to that website and go to that any one of those segments that looks like the last one's December 10th, uh, but you could go and listen to that one or go back farther and listen to some of the older ones. You will see that there's some, some fairly consistent topics he hits on in every half hour segment. You can hear what his calls to action are. Uh, the question about how, how do we uh, handle the calls when they come in, the calls come into a, a third party reception service that basically when they call in, they say, hey, that's that's right, Dave, let's set up an appointment with you and you're going to get two, two to three appointments uh, each week, sometimes more. I uh, may get one one week and five another week, as Dave mentioned, but you're going to get those appointments and they're going to have very, you're going to get notes as to what they want to talk to you about. You know, they've got a 401k that they're worried about, whatever, you know, they're going to have notes in there. So you don't get calls during your radio show. You get calls during the radio show, but they're not live calls. They're call, people call it in. And they're going to make an appointment. And if we got a third party, you know, Dave went through that and vetted that service very well. So, you know, you're going to be talking to the, the people that they're going to be talking to are going to be intent on making an appointment uh, for you. So that's how the radio system works. And you can hear, like I said, if you go to retirementbusradio.com, uh, you can hear, and I mistyped that. Let me see if I can retype it. Um, you can hear how those calls to action would work. There we go. Uh, you can hear those calls to action work, and you already know what the results of those would be. So uh, seminar is great. Radio is great. Social security knowledge is going to be a way that you can gain uh, more clientele and make yourself more referable. All these things are available to you. We're intent here at, at IAMS in getting you in front of more customers and helping you be successful as you want to be. Uh, and we're going to we're going to go the extra mile to do that. Uh, when you call, you're going to get a live body answering that phone and they're going to get you the right person to help you answer the question that you have and get you off to, off to the races. You know, more than ever, uh, you know, calling into a carrier can be a, a challenge. You know, you're waiting 25, 35 minutes on the line. We're going to do our best to take care of all of that for you as well. So that you can do you and your team can do what you do best, which is selling and being in front of people. So let us know how we can help you. Uh, our number is 800-255-5055. Uh, when you call, uh, just ask for uh, your sales director. If you want to chat with me, I'm certainly happy to do that as well. Uh, my name is Steve Murray, and I'm going to show you really quick, hopefully, I could type where you could also get a recording of this event. Take just a second. There's our website. You can see the YouTube link up here. If you click on that link, uh, this event, of course, isn't up there yet, but you can see a number of our events. Uh, most of our re uh, webinars are recorded and held there. So if you want to become a Roth conversion expert, we've got a webinar for that. If you want to learn more about this, there's a past recording of this event. If you want to learn about a product, the Income Pay Pro product with North America, if you want to uh, get some some ideas from a top producer. All of that stuff is out there on our website, on our YouTube channel, and you can see it's pretty extensive. It goes on and on and on of uh, things that you can learn at the click of a button, and most of those are going to be 25 to 30 minutes. Keep in mind that a lot of those have the IMS commercial on the front end. If you've heard that, you can scroll through that to save yourself that time on each of the events as well. So thank you all for joining us today. We just we did go over a little bit on time. I apologize for that. I think there's a lot of great questions. In fact, I'm just going to check and see. Uh, there are some very specific questions. Um, our number, I think I gave that to you, Tamara. It's 800-255-5055. Call and ask for me. Call and ask for sales director. If you want to get put in touch with Dave, we can do that as well. Uh, there's a couple of very specific. Hopefully, those of you that have real specific questions about Social Security claiming that you want to get an answer to, Dave is actually available to help you with that as well. You made an appointment. Most of you did make an appointment to speak with Dave, so very good with that. Again, thank you for joining us today, Friday after Friday morning. A lot going on. Uh, appreciate you taking some time out of your schedule to join us. Uh, the team here at IMS is here to help you. Again, that number 800-255-5055. Uh, let us know how we can help you uh, do what you need to do in 23 to reach the, the goals of your business you're looking to reach. Have a great afternoon. Thanks, everybody.